Hey, it's time to check in with Keith Bilbrey to see what kinds of questions that you've been leaving for me in the comments, as well as in our My Two Cents at tbn.tv mailbox. I don't even know if I want to know what is in that mailbox this week, Keith. I'm not even sure I want to read them. There you go. But I'm going to. We got to. (laughs) Jan from Glastonbury, Connecticut. Mike, I saw you today on Fox News and was appalled (laughs) at your comments comparing putting up fencing with razor wire to protect Biden's inauguration and lawmakers to fencing and razor wire that Trump put up to keep immigrants seeking freedom out of the U.S., and saying that Democrats were being hypocritical because they said walls and fences don't work. So what exactly do you want? Let me make this very simple. I want law and order. I want people to come to America, but I want them to come legally. I know so many of the greatest Americans in this country who came here from other places, but they came because they loved America and they wanted to work and be an American like the rest of us, and they are. They're every bit as much of an American as I am, or Keith, well, I don't know about Keith, (laughs) every bit as much of an American as anybody who was born here. But they came with a hope, aspiration, and they came legally. Here's my point, I hope you don't miss it. Democrats have been saying walls and fences don't work, and they've said walls and fences are immoral. Well, if they don't work, don't put them around the politicians. If they don't work, then why should we protect politicians but not the people who live down on the border and the rest of America? But if they do work and you put them up around yourself, don't be that upset that some folks would like to have some to protect their communities, their homes from people who aren't coming here to be great citizens. They're coming to get something from us rather than bring something to us. That's what I want. I hope you understand that. Well, Richard, from South Lake, Texas, Mr. Huckabee, you give hope to many Americans that common sense will prevail one day. The problem is not we the people. We have a government that does not work for the people in a bipartisan manner. Does the Anti-Corruption Act have a chance of passing and changing that? Oh, what a nice, nice letter. And and let me say, I wish that the Anti-Corruption Act, which uh, would entail several reforms, uh, preventing lobbying from people who've been in office and a host of things. The truth is, if Congress has to pass it, it'll never happen. Because too many people in Congress want to continue to make sure that they take care of themselves first and foremost. And if they were as interested in taking care of you and the rest of Americans as they were in taking care of themselves, a lot could change in this country for the good. By the way, it's one of the reasons I so strongly support term limits for people who get in public office so they know they're gonna have to leave. I wish that would happen. Well, Joe, from Peculiar, Missouri. There really is a place called Peculiar? Yes, so. That's what it's Wow. Like. Peculiar, huh. Missouri. Would you rather have a person be not saved and always vote Republican or be saved and always vote Democratic? <laughs> That's the impression your loveless vitriol gives me. Oh, my loveless vitriol. <laughs> I didn't know I had any of that, but uh, I guess maybe said some folks I do. Here's my answer. I'd love for them to be saved and vote Republican all the time, which... <laughs> I could be cynical and say, if they are saved, won't they vote Republican all the time? But I would never say that. That would be cruel. But I want everybody to be saved, and even if they don't Republican, I still want them to be saved. And if they get saved, I hope they'll vote Republican. There you go. How's that for an answer? It passes muster to me. There you go. Russell from Ella J. Georgia, in your interview with Alan Dershowitz, you talked about the second impeachment of President Trump. You talked about the Democrats not wanting him to be reelected. Is it possible if Donald Trump runs for president again, they could bring up the impeachment and send it to the Senate for a vote after he is elected in 2024? I think this group of Democrats in the Congress right now would vote to impeach Donald Trump if he didn't run, if he didn't get elected. They'd do it just for a third time, just out of spite. I've never seen people who couldn't let go. Can I say a word to Chuck Schumer? 
and Nancy Pelosi. You won the election. Donald Trump is no longer president. The impeachment is dividing this country terribly. It's an insult to our common sense and to our constitution. If you really wanna spend our tax money and our time in Washington, why don't you let go with Donald Trump? And would you please work on dealing with the COVID virus that you said was your highest priority and getting the economy back on track and maybe letting kids go back to school and businesses open up again? We will appreciate putting that in your focus. That would be good. Well, Eileen from Amarillo, Texas. I watch your show every Saturday night and I totally agree with your comments last week. Who in this country is gonna stand up and expose what went on with the election? Who will investigate Hunter Biden's connection to the Chinese and what Joe Biden had to do with that mess as the big guy? I truly appreciate you standing up for Christian standards in America and speaking out against abortion and the fraud regarding the election. Well, Eileen, first of all, thank you for a kind word. I love Amarillo, Texas, your hometown. What a great place. I'm just gonna say this, and I say it whether I'm talking to people in West Texas, obviously I'm talking to the whole country, but some of the nicest people in the world live in West Texas. Midland, Odessa, Amarillo, Lubbock. I'm just telling you, they're wonderful, wonderful people. So thank you uh, for just sharing your kind words. Your question is, do I think anything will come of it? To be honest with you, I doubt it because I'm increasingly convinced that the corruption of Washington is so entrenched that there is more interest in going after the people who want to get rid of the corruption than there is to get rid of the corrupting people who have caused it, which breaks my heart. I hope we keep electing good and decent people, not just to the presidency or to the Congress, or, but all the way up and down the political ladder, school board, local city council, uh, mayor, state representative, state senate, governor, senate, the whole bunch, and that little by little, we get our country back to where people serve, not to see what they can get from their time in office, but what they can give. Because ultimately, people who get elected, they work for the rest of us. We don't work for them. And I just want a whole bunch of people getting elected who never, ever forget that. So be sure to leave your questions, your comments, or your vitriol in the comments below. Or you can send them to my two cents at tvn.tv. Now, if you want more videos like that one, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell right next to it. And if you leave a comment, positive or negative, I'll be sure that my dog Toby sees it and responds to you in kind. <laughs>